I started doing haunted houses from a very young age. I, I remember the day pretty well. Uh, we were finishing up dinner and my brother got the TV remote before me. Uh, my dad's a VW car guy. He was working in the garage on his car. So I went, on, I went to go put on my shoes and as I was putting on my shoes I saw a commercial on the TV for something Halloween. I don't remember exactly what. But I went out into the garage and my dad had a air compressor going with a little air blaster nozzle and I squeezed it and it scared me. And something clicked in my brain and I asked my dad, could we do something cool for Halloween this year? So we came up with this thing called the Ghost Launcher. Uh, just a metal plate with a pneumatic actuator underneath it that when you stepped on it, it would shoot a blast of air up a fishing line and on the fishing line was a straw and a paper cone and we drew a face on it to make it look like a ghost. And I remember coming back, there were these teenage girls, way too old to be going trick-or-treating. First one stepped on the plate and they all took down running down the street. And from that point on, I was hooked. So this is our storage room, uh, one of the many rooms that we have inside our attraction here. Uh, this is where we keep all the supplies needed to run a zombie containment research facility. Uh, we do have some surprises that I won't give away as of right now, but there are some things waiting for you in some of these boxes. And from here you head down the pipe hall into our boiler room. So after you finish the main haunted house, you can come and visit our second attraction, which is included in the ticket price, uh, Quarantine, which is a large 6,000 square foot maze filled with zombies. And your goal is to try and find your way out. Putting on an attraction like this takes uh, quite a lot of work. I've been doing this for over two years now. And uh, part of the design process has been uh, using a 3D modeling software to go over and design every square inch of the attraction. Uh, and we have, after many revisions, created our final design here with many rooms, many hallways. And uh, you can see it here in a two-scale 3D Lego model. Creating a haunted house is a fantastically fun and unique thing to do. Uh, if anyone's ever scared you or you've ever scared anyone, you know that feeling. Uh, and it's, it's an addictive one that you can get attracted, that you can just get hooked to. Uh, and more into that, it's fun to take people into a world that is not their own. Uh, I also do some theater stuff and it's, it goes hand in hand with this because at the end of the day, you're taking people out of their world and you're putting them into this world that you get to create, you get to design, and at the end of the day, you get to act in it. And it's fun to take them into that world and scare the hell out of them.